Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. The Me Too movement has spread across the country as a way to bring attention to the prevalence of sexual harassment in the workplace. It reached the northwest suburbs in an event Tuesday night in Brooklyn Park. A forum discussed how the movement is changing public policy. Eric Nelson was there and joins us now with more. Eric? Yeah, Alex and Shannon, the forum was hosted by a nonprofit group called Think Again Brooklyn's. They sparked conversation on the impact that the hashtag MeToo movement has had on the grassroots level. People talked about tougher laws on the books regarding sexual harassment and for cities to have a code of conduct. Linda Freeman, who is with Think Again Brooklyn's, says cities, nonprofits, and businesses should have a zero tolerance policy. If somebody complains and they've documented that things have been happening repeatedly and nobody's doing something about it, that person needs to be like let go from the company or the organization should no longer work with that person. Now the forum took place at Brooklyn Park City Hall and drew a good crowd. People heard multiple speakers address sexual harassment from a local perspective. The most prominent person speaking was DFL rep Melissa Hortman, who shared her experiences on this topic. There were also two Brooklyn Park police officers in attendance. They presented a PowerPoint on how sexual abuse cases are handled legally and what resources are available to victims. Some individuals believe this problem can be traced to people hungry for power. I definitely think it has to do with males who have, who are in a position of power or influence or may think that they have power or may not have power but want power and so they're using a woman, um, they may be abusing a woman to get that type of power. Um, I feel like one of the bottom line issues is manipulation and power and control. The City of Brooklyn Park and League of Women Voters teamed up to host this event. The goal of Think Again Brooklyn's is to encourage conversation between local government and citizens. Alex and Shannon. All right.